really good. Like, so good that I didn't want it to end. Like, it was... So much stuff happened. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are going to talk about an anime. And if you like that kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. We are going to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. Why? Because so much stuff happened. Oh my goodness. We got to talk about it. So in the beginning of the episode, we have Noritoshi, Megumi, and Toge fighting against Hanami. They're losing. They are losing. So we got Toge who has like the cursed speech, right? His cursed speech hit its limit. Why? Because that means Hanami was that much stronger. No. They were banking on his cursed speech. They were. But bye bye. And then we saw that Noritoshi was strong, and for some reason he got knocked out. That looked suspicious. That looked really suspicious to me. I'm just saying. Togi was out. Noritoshi was out. Then we just have Megumi. Megumi's by himself. Boom. Maki comes out. She's like, I'm here to help. They're ready to help Megumi. And we see that Megumi's like taking out cursed tools from his shadows. And they were talking about that in the earlier episodes, remember? When they were trying to like plan things, what they can do. Because Maki can only use cursed tools, right? And they were like, okay, where can she store them? And that's where Megumi was like, oh, we can store them in my shadows. No problem. And we saw it happening. And in this scene, they explain what cursed tools were. I was like, oh, that's nice. Educating us. Awesome. I do want to point out that Maki did say that one of her cursed tools would be sold for five billion. And it made me wonder, okay, Maki, are you paying for this? Did you pay for that cursed tool? If not, who's making your cursed tools? Like, if they're that expensive, who's making it? What are your connections, girl? Anyways. In this fighting scene where we have Maki and Megumi fighting against Hanami, we see a really good teamwork. Like that scene where they switch the weapons. Ooh, that was good. Oh, that's so smooth. Oh, they were, they were in sync. All oh, that, oh, that training paid off. And it made me wonder, how much did they train together? Were they planning to train together? Because, you know... Megumi has a weapon and he was storing her weapons. Did they plan this ahead of time? If so, perfect. It was perfect. Unfortunately, Maki and Megumi couldn't handle Hanami. Hanami was just too strong. No. But, you know what? In the clutch, we got Yuji and Toto coming in. Whoop, whoop. Now we got another duo, another good team, but they're strong. These are the guys with the strength. And we get to see Yuji fight against a cursed spirit again. Yeah! We got Yuji attacking Hanami. And you can see that Yuji is really using his brains for this. He is thinking this through because Hanami is like, oh, the blows are weak. Ha ha ha. But then Yuji is like, ooh. It let its guard down because I weakened my blows. It left its torso open, unguarded. Oh, and Yuji went for it. Like, Wah! and then Hanami, you know, backed away. <laughs> so Hanami backed off and Yuji backed off, right? And then we see Toto slap Yuji. I was not expecting that. I was like, oh. Toto, why did Yuji slap Yuji? And the reason be was because Yuji was being driven by anger and that could be counterproductive for him. So, you know, Toto is like, snap out of it. Be calm, man. 
and they're being like best buddies. Oh, I like this scene because there's like this funny line. We're gonna show it. The funny line was, rained on your honeymoon with me, best friend. <laughs> I was like, your honeymoon with your best friend. <laughs> I will not forget this. No, I will not. <laughs> so Toto talks some sense into Eugene. Eugene's like, you got a best friend. He goes in and Toto's like, okay, you need to do the black flash. And we're like, what is the black flash? You guys are talking about the black flash and thank goodness they have an explanation. Toto does a whole explanation. I really appreciate it. And then we see Eugene. He's concentrating. He's con he's concentrating so hard that he's drooling. I'm like, boy, why are you drooling? And then Hanami sees it and is like, oh, that's a lot of concentration. Impressive. I'm like, you can tell. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just thinking, dude. Like I've I've drooled before, and that's when I'm zoning out. I'm just saying. And then Yuji goes in and executes the black flash. Oh, bro, it was so cool. I mean, it was like black electricity. You just see all this energy go. It was good. It was so good. We were like, whoa, what is, whoa. And this was a big moment. They built it up to this. That was a great build up. And then we see Yuji like covered in cursed energy. He's like, so this is my cursed energy. And I guess they show this part because he could only show or have his cursed energy in his fist, right? But now it's encompassing his body. And we got Toto, best friend, explaining. Now you have a taste. Now you know what it feels like. So it's like, ooh. It's sort of like using Black Flash unlocked Yuji's abilities or something like that. It just unleashed something. And Toto's like, now you can get stronger. And it's like, brah, Yuji was already strong. Okay, he was already strong physically. He was already strong at other stuff. Now he's getting more strong. How much stronger can he get? What else can he do? What else? Now we got Hanami is like, okay, it's getting serious. And this whole time, Hanami had one arm <laughs> kind of like in a sling covered or something like that. And then Hanami just took it off and just revealed that it had a perfectly good arm with like a flower on it. And Hanami's like, okay time to get serious and brah the animation got so intense oh it was so good it was like tarzan the disney movie tarzan and i don't know something else it was so good oh my gosh oh so intense we saw yuji and toto like moving so fluidly they were like figure skaters or something like that they were mirroring each other they were bouncing off each other they were reacting like one person did something the other reacted to compliment the other it really looked like figure skating or some type of dancing where the partners were in sync they had the same brain oh it was so good it's amazing because they were supposed to be enemies but then somehow they got a connection going on they they felt like they're kindred spirits. Like they were meant to be friends. And then it got to the part where it was about to go down. Like Hanami had them in a clutch again. And Yuji and Toto, they saw each other. Great minds think alike, whatever's. And they say, brother. And they like connect their feet and they push each other off to save each other. It was like, whoa. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. For guys, for these two people who never met each other until this competition, tournament, whatever it was, 
That's amazing. That's amazing. They just met that day. Okay? <laughs> then we focus on Hanami. And Hanami's like, what is this feeling? And Hanami has like a flashback talking to another cursed spirit. And then it ends with, I've been enjoying a fight. So it's like this cursed spirit who is obviously really powerful was fighting with no passion, I guess. And was just going through the motions, you know, like, yeah, I'm beating you guys. I'm kicking your butt. But now Nami's like, I'm having fun. It is on. I was like, oh, dang. Oh, dang. It's going to get more intense. I didn't know it could get more intense, but it is. And Toto's like, okay, time to use my technique. And it's like, brah, you had like a secret move that you were hiding away. What? And the episode ends. Yeah, the episode ends. The episode ends with Hanami with a burning passion to fight. And we got Toto saying, I got a technique. So it's like, raw. No, it was getting better. The fight was getting better. Oh. But I can wait. I'm patient. I'm willing to wait. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to read ahead. I won't. I am willing to wait for the next episode. What about you guys? Are you willing to wait for the next episode? What did you think? Did you see it? Did you not see it? Why didn't you see it? What do you think of the series so far? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, we do have a Discord. Discord link is available in the description below. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch my videos do like to pop in in the stream and talk, you know, have that one-on-one, -on -one, that real-time conversation. You're totally welcome. You can totally talk about this. I got people talking about the videos because I also do videos about like tech, manga reviews, game reviews. Yeah, we talk about all kinds of stuff during the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about manga and anime and other stuff we're interested in. If you like that kind of stuff, there is a link in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel talking about Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Later. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump 